We're getting a new gripping look at the terrifying moment that Marshall Fire tore through parts of Colorado as sheriff's deputies raced to evacuate people and pets. Sheriff's office! Sheriff's office! Sheriff's office! Ma'am, you have to evacuate. Yeah, we are. We're back. We're okay. Back. We're leaving right Let's now. load up and let's go, okay? okay? The Boulder Sheriff's Office releasing body cam videos showing deputies urgently going door to door. And look at this, the flames sometimes just across the street. The fire devastated the towns of Superior and Louisville, just northwest of Denver two weeks ago. It burned the entire ground area, entire neighborhoods to the ground, destroying more than a thousand buildings, according to fire officials. They say it killed one person and another is still listed as missing. The fire burned an area roughly the size of more than 4,500 football fields in just hours. Deputies had little notice to get as many people out as possible. CNBC's Valerie Castro now with what the deputies saw. All right, this is going to go up front. Sure. It's going to be tight. Sure. When we get out, call your husband. I'll have him meet you. The afternoon of December 30th would become a mad dash to get away from the flames and smoke bearing down on Boulder County. Sheriff's deputies tasked with evacuating more than 30,000 residents. There were times where visibility would go from 100, 150 feet to about three, four feet. That's two cats and a dog. Okay, they can ride in there. Okay, do I bring my suitcase or no? Bring whatever is absolutely essential. In some cases, that meant getting people out one by one along with their pets. Here, let me get him in the car. Okay, sounds great. She's super friendly. Come on, babies. Come on, babies. Up you go. Up you go. Oh, it's a good girl. The gratitude dismissed as duty. Thank you so much for getting Of course, ma'am. That's what we're here for. I don't know how to drive. This frantic store employee telling a deputy in Spanish she has no car to drive away in. You don't have a car? No. Get in. Back this side. Back door. Back door. Shoppers at a Costco made their way to the exit, blind to what was happening until they reached the front doors in the parking lot where they were met with a whirlwind of chaos. A deputy arrived to guide them out. Go east, yeah, towards Denver. Okay. Go towards Denver. Evacuate now. Inside the store, shoppers and employees ran past, abandoning their shopping carts still lined up at the registers. Evacuate Costco now. Head eastbound. Leave your carts. Go. Horses were also guided to safety. Let's go this way, guys. Coming. Directed out of the structure in single file. Deputies determined to leave no person or terrified pet behind. Follow me. Are these your dogs? No. No? Okay. Do you want me to take them? I guess. Okay, I'll take them. All right. Come here. Come here. As time was running out. For me, it was, yeah, I'm terrified. And I was terrified that whole day. Um, but this is my job to do. I got to do it. I'm trained for it. Those deputies say their reward in all of this, just feeling good about the fact that they were able to save lives, both people and animals. Of course, they say they were just doing their jobs, but they continue to receive notes and emails of gratitude for their bravery. I Chef? bet they are. Valerie Castro, thank you.